Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another King of Fighters All-Star video. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how to farm rubies in King of Fighters All-Star. Previously, I made several guides, but over the years, those guides became kind of outdated. And there are new game modes. So I kind of checked the recent update of the game and I found around 18 ways to farm rubies. And I didn't even consider the limited time rubies, guys. So let's get into the topic and I'm going to show you all the missions that you need to play to farm the rubies. So first of all, let me start with this daily section. That is first of all, we need to do the dailies and the weeklies. Basically dailies, these are the missions that you need to play for the dailies. And if you play, you can actually claim them and you'll get quite a good amount of rubies. 100 rubies from here, you'll get 50 rubies from here. I think that's all. And these dailies are also connected with these weekly missions. If you play the dailies, the weeklies will also get completed and you will also get quite a good amount of rubies per week. I think uh, there's 300 rubies here. There are 300 rubies here, totally 400 rubies. Now next I'm going to talk about this achievement section. This achievement section is about different achievements that you cannot do on one single day but uh, it will depend on your game pace. For example, evolve battle card 100 times. I haven't even completed yet. <laughs> I mean, it takes a lot of things, but as you progress throughout the game and you do different stops, these tasks are going to be completed and they will give you huge amount of rubies, guys. Now let's move on to the next section. So next we move on to our battle section. And in the battles, we are having this absolute war and league match. Absolute War, if you play these uh, three battles that you are allowed to play every day with free currencies, you are allowed to play three times without any cost. If you want to play more than three times, you have to spend some rubies. But if you keep playing these three times every single day, that will place you, I think, around Platinum level 5 or so. That means around 1000 rubies every week. However, there is a tip for you. Whenever you see that you have some limited time rubies, like in many times the game will give you limited time rubies. Whenever you find these limited time rubies, just use those limited time rubies and play the extra matches. And let me just show you. I think I actually played from my mobile, so I cannot show you. But today I think I played around 10 or 15 matches. So just spend those rubies, improve your score. That will give you some real good rubies at the end of the week. It will give you, I think, 1200 so. So 200 extra rubies, that's a good idea. About league match, if you keep playing normally, it will uh, usually place you on the gold rank, uh, three wins per day, and you'll get around 200 uh, rubies at the end of the week. But if you once again spend those limited time rubies and improve your score, then you can get up to 400 rubies in one week. So this is a great uh, opportunity that I personally utilize to actually boost up my uh, ruby farming the next section i'm going to talk about is going to be the dungeons and there are a bunch of dungeons as you can see all of these power of dungeon missions if you play first time you can get the uh, quite a good amount of rubies just go ahead and play that's a good idea transcendence dungeon there are many ways to farm rubies from here soul dust if you play with any character for the first three times for the first three matches, you will get around 50 rubies for each character. That's a lot of lot of character and that includes all these bronze and silver characters, all these different colors. So there is a possibility to earn a good amount of rubies from this section. Hall of Elements, of course, if when you play this, all these stages for the first time, you will get a huge amount of rubies. Chapter of Fight. This is something that is not always available. Whenever it is available, just play as much as you can to earn the uh, a daily, you will be able to earn 100 rubies. These uh, advents will also give you rubies when you play for the first time and also this uh, spooky and costly. These all missions, these are normal missions. You play for the first time and get the rubies. Challenge dungeon, time attack. This is something that you need to do every single day. This is uh, one of the most continuous ruby earning missions. So you need to do time attack every single day. Team Relay Dungeon. Don't forget to do this thing every single week because every single week you'll be able to get quite a good amount of rubies. Let me see. 
150 rubies from this boss and let me collect another 150 rubies i think hell yeah this is very sweet guys so 450 rubies from these three bosses each and every week guys sometimes i even forget to collect them guys but don't forget it once you beat them for the first time you don't have to beat again and again you just can auto clear next this team relay challenge this is one of the greatest option for the new players because there are a bunch of these giants and all the giants will give you around seven to eight thousand rubies or ten thousand rubies i think each and every day uh, each and every one of them when you defeat for the first time i think there are some rubies in this dungeon of trials when you complete this for the first time you reach the highest score you will get quite a good amount of rubies but that's a one time reward but that's a lot tower of illusion this is the tower that you need to play i haven't really played this at all because i cannot manage time and it requires some quite a good strategy and you need to really make your character strong but you have to uh, you see there are certain rubies in this reward there are quite a good amount of rubies in these uh, different stages 2000 here i saw another 2000 so quite a good amount of rubies but once again you have to make your characters really really strong so let's get out of challenge dungeon event dungeon this is going to be the event dungeon different times there will be different events going on for example right now ages challenge is going on ages challenge is one of the best ways to farm rubies however the recent challenges have become really difficult and for that you need to develop your characters really strong and you need to have really recent fighters so if you are not doing good in these missions don't worry too much just farm rubies from the other uh, missions pile up your rubies and then go big on a new banner and those characters when you level up them to a5 they are going to be very strong and they are going to do the job for you in this game mode so this is a very uh, rewarding game mode and let me show you the rewards if you go to this challenge carnival event you will get this reward 3000 rubies each and every season this is very good guys so we talked about i think all of the dungeons yes we talked about all of the dungeons different time there will be different event missions which will also give you rubies now let's talk about the stories there is a lot of story in this game there is a lot of them if you go to this normal there is hard expert lunatic mode and also inferno mode in may some cases i guess series there is a lot of series of stories orochi saga nest saga ash saga each and every saga has all of these stories and all of them has different mood so there's a possibility to farm a huge amount of rubies guys epic quest also we have a bunch of epic quest episode 0 episode 1 episode 2 all of them has different missions different difficulty levels you can farm one time rubies a lot so we talked about the story now let me see what i have in my list because there is a lot okay so usually there will be some events in many cases for example this lucky new draw that's going on the, if you roll the dice you have the potentiality to earn certain amount of rubies for example these are the rubies 20 rubies here 20 rubies here you'll get quite a good amount of rubies depending on the dices that you have farmed from different game modes now let me show you some couple of bonus tips if you go to your fighters then let me just go to any low level fighter so when you go to your fighters you will see this affinity section you go to your profile and this is the affinity tab a tap on it and you'll see that there are items that this character can consume and increase the affinity level and these are the items the items with the red face this will increase more affinity compared to other ones but you can use any one of them it doesn't really matter and what is going to do if you increase the affinity level up to level 10 or 9 if you give them 50 rubies i think 50 rubies from this affinity this is very decent guys and considering the amount of fighters that you're having that's a quite a decent thing to have and also there is another thing that you need to do every single day that is if you go to shops if you go from your mobile device you will see that there is this ad here watch this ad from your mobile device or anywhere and it will give you 30 rubies every single day 
and of course there will be login events sometimes the uh, login there will be certain login events and they will give you free rupees but usually these free rupees are limited times also there is another uh, important ways is whenever there will be events if you see events there will be rush dungeons and each, each, each and every time you'll be able to farm rush dungeon rubies 50 and 50 hundred rubies every single day i usually talk about this rush dungeons in my regular videos so i cannot really show you right now because there is no rush dungeon going on at the time of recording this video and on top of this th these all these options there sometimes there will be ruby codes from the developers uh, there will be sometimes uh, different type of giveaways so we'll talk about those things whenever these th things are rolled out by the developers and another final bonus tip is going to be the rank up that means the rank you have currently i'm having 374 whenever i will rank up a little bit more like 375 for each level i will get certain amount of rubies and that will depend on your rank when you are uh, below 200 i think the ruby amount is a little bit lower but f uh, uh, at that my time i'm getting 60 rubies for each level up and also i forgot i think i forgot to talk about these daily boxes that means this uh, weekly boxes you will get these daily boxes and these weekly boxes from these tasks weekly tasks also these boxes are also going to give you rubies so these are the options guys go ahead and keep playing the game and exploring these options because we will need a lot of rubies thank you so much for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and i have published regularly for king of Fires all-star so stay tuned in and hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends